So I've met a lot of Christians who seem to be just really, really sad, really, really angry about the state of the world, and and just sometimes just really confused in terms of what God would expect of them, whether he wants them to pursue their dreams or to deny themselves, take up their cross and follow him. And of course, the answer is a little bit of both. But there's one verse that really kind of sticks out to me in terms of the joy that we ought to have as we follow God. It says in Psalm 37, verse 4, delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. That means that God wants us to be happy. He doesn't want us to be moping around all the time, sad about the state of the world. God wants us to be happy. It says that basically twice in this verse. Delight yourself in the Lord. Be joyful in the Lord. And he will give you the desires of your heart. As we follow Christ, we find that we have joy in Christ. Now, this doesn't at all deny the idea that we do need to take up our cross and follow him. We do need to deny ourselves. If we have sinful thoughts, which we all do, if we want to go down paths which are not ultimately good for us but are sinful, we certainly do need to deny that of ourselves. But even as we do that, we should recognize that we're not really denying ourselves you know, good pleasures. We're denying ourselves the things that ultimately destroy us. I think so many people have this idea about Christianity that God just wants to take away our fun. That's actually the opposite of what God wants to do for us. But there is a command in this as well. It says, delight yourself in the Lord. That means out of all the things that we could take pleasure in in this world, it's God who's going to give us the greatest pleasure. It's God himself that's going to make us the most happy. And as we delight ourselves in him by resting in Jesus, by reading his word, by praying, by going to church and and praising God with the other people who believe in him, that's when God gives us the desires of our hearts. And what do you desire? I mean, really, it comes down to a few things for just about everybody. We desire peace. We desire joy. We desire fulfillment and purpose in our lives. If we delight ourselves in the Lord, God gives us these desires. But they're not found in everything else that we oftentimes search for these things in. It's good to have a good job that's that's fulfilling, that fulfills our purpose. But ultimately, our work is not going to give us joy. It's good to have a good family. It's good to raise up a good family and train them in the way that they should go. But our kids, our wife, they can't be our savior. But if we delight ourselves in the Lord, in, in God himself, in Jesus... We find the purpose which we were ultimately made for from the very beginning. Our purpose is to glorify God and enjoy him forever. Simply rest in the fact that God made you, he loves you, and he saves you by his grace. And if you do that, if you find joy in Jesus, then everything else in life becomes a gift. Maybe you've just been stuck in this idea that life is boring, that life is meaningless, but that's not the kind of life that God wants for you. So watch this next video and you'll see exactly the kind of life that God wants for you. God bless you and we'll see you over there.